After being released from the funhouse, we went back to living our less than ordinary lives. And just like before, our day began with us all gathering at the restaurant. You know, every time we meet up here, it makes me realize just how crazy this whole situation is. The restaurant certainly feels more spacious than before. Of course it feels spacious. There are less than half of us here now than there were at the beginning. What the heck? Stupid fool! Get it together! Huh? Did you hear something? What? It's Negomaru! That was Coach Negomaru's voice! Huh? What are you talking about? She's no longer... Yes. <gasps> Don't tell me you fixed him! What are you laughing about? I'll beat the crap out of you if you keep grossing me out like that! <laughs> hey, that's not cool. I was up all night working my fingers to the bone. More importantly, I am starting to get tired of all the seasonings in this restaurant. Seriously, I'm starting to realize how valuable Teru Teru was. Hey, don't ignore me! I'm trying to talk to you about something important! Important? This! It took me all night to make it! Is that a Nekomaru doll? Oh well, are you are you the real thing though, or are you like a lame AI? Uh, Minimaru? I took some parts from him to make it. What do you think? Awesome quality, right? <laughs> of course, it doesn't have free will or anything, so it's more like you know a toy. But is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> kind of leaning towards bad, really. But isn't it freaking adorable? Oh! Oh! Thank you. It's so cute! Thanks! I'll keep it! Yeah. Oh, I never said anything about giving it away. <laughs> Don't be so stuck up! Your stuff is my stuff, right? <laughs> oh, hey now! That's a bully's logic! Ah. Uh -huh. Well, it doesn't matter. I made this to cheer you guys up anyway. Uh, I don't know. If my friend died and you made me a toy of my friend, not sure if I would be happy about that or not. Hmm. <sighs> And as long as we have it, we won't forget, you know, about Nekomaru's sacrifice for us. We're standing here today because of him. What about Gundo? <laughs> so if we're gonna prevent something like that from ever happening again... I guess we gotta fight too, right? We can't just keep running away! <laughs> gotta admit, never thought I'd hear you say something that awesome. <laughs> of course. In the end, Gundam told us to never give up on life. So I will never give up. I shall fight until the very end. <laughs> Gundam, please watch over me. Sonia san? Um, Miss Sonia, what did you think of my little pep talk? Arara? Oh, did you say something? Arara? I was up all night memorizing that speech! Takuyo. And there's the punchline. <laughs> hey, I really like this. Thanks, Kazuichi. I'm only half as happy to be thanked by you. Oh, by the way, you can also use that to massage your sore muscles and pressure points. Hey, you know about that too. Oh yeah, we went together. Are you serious? That's amazing. Of course, I made it after all. Seriously, thanks. I'll take good care of it. Akane looks really happy. Anyway, what happened to Negito? I haven't seen him around like I usually do. You don't have to worry about that guy. He goes solo all the freaking time. I think... I think we need to tie him up again. Yeah. <laughs> but still, I'm a little worried about how he was acting during the last class trial. Well, he's always been a dangerous bastard, but he's crossed the line, you know? Boy, or... Then that's even more the reason we should avoid him. But even if we do avoid him, what are you gonna do if he approaches us? Nagito's sudden change was really weird. I wonder, did he figure out something that we're not aware of? Anyway, Hajime, isn't it about time you told us what that was all about? Huh? That? 
You know, what Nagito said during the trial. You still don't realize it? Jeez, get it together. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? Ha, huh, I forgot. Except for Hajime, of course. Oi, Kura. What did he mean by except for Hajime? Huh? Are you really the traitor after all? No, it's not like that. I didn't really want to say it, but I guess I have no choice. Um, to tell you guys the truth, unlike the rest of you... Well, apparently I was never part of the Hope's Peak Academy's primary department. I'm a reserve course student from the reserve department. Huh? Reserve department? It means, unlike you guys, I don't have an ultimate talent at all. Apparently, I'm just a normal person. <laughs> Is that all? Uh... What? That's it? Dude, don't ever scare me like that. It's not like something I can just brush off, especially since it's about me. Mm. I think we were... Are we in first year at the school? Because we never really... Okay, because of the memory wipe. It's not like we really remember anything from our school life anyway, so... Before, before coming to this school, all the ultimates, they were surrounded by non-ultimates all the time too, right? So it's not like a rare thing. I thought I just forgot. I thought I got into Hope's Peak Academy because I had talent all along. But... shit! <laughs> my whole life, I've just wanted to feel confident about myself. And I thought getting into Hope's Peak Academy meant I had finally become someone I could be proud of. Yeah, unexpectedly, Hajime is someone with kind of low confidence too. Not some fucking backup student. Cheer up, Hajime. It doesn't matter if you're from the reserve department. She's right. No matter what, you are our friend. You know, there is a saying in Japan. Okay. Fear is grateful for the danger. Hell, you're saying that all wrong. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! So everyone was here. It was a real close battle. Hang on. The Mono Beasts don't have blood, right? They're robots, so where did that- Okay, you know what? Never mind. I apologize. I was trying to cheer you up, but I ended up saying the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Stuff is just hard to say sometimes. Huh? That's weird. Maybe you can't see me? Hmm? Whoa, what the heck? You're covered in blood. We huh? You saw me? Yes, that's right. The, the Mono Beast this time was very strong. Gross! Don't get close to me! Get out of here! Oh, no gratitude! I'm being treated like filth! No, no. Hey, why don't you clean that blood off? We're trying to eat. Oh, yes, I'm ashamed of myself. You guys are so rude to her. Ding, 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 ding. There we go. Now then, allow me to report to you all once again. After a fierce battle that's never been seen in history, I finally succeeded in conquering the last Mono Beast. The last? Because of this, it's finally possible for you to travel to the final island. Uh, I see. What a thin react. Thin reaction? Oh my god. It's like I'm surrounded by tons of shabu shabu from an all you can eat restaurant. <laughs> what the hell kind of an analogy is that? I know. Don't tell me this again. You're gonna say stuff like, it's not like we can get off this island. Why bother going to the new island? Well, it's true that I don't really expect much. But who said we weren't gonna go? Obviously, we're gonna go, dumbass. Assuming we were thinking about running away was a mistake. Because if we can't run, we'll fight. I'm... Why? I kind of should go train with Monomi or something, man. I'll crush everyone who put us through this crap in one blow. Boy, boy. Fight? Seriously, that fearsome group is called World Ender for a reason, you know? Why, you? Did you forget what you said earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dumbass! I only said that because I was trying to impress with Sonia. No. Don't brag about that! Settle down! If you have the power to fight among yourselves, then direct the power toward our enemy! 
Now then, let us go forth! Offense is the best defense! You're right. Now's not the time for us to be bickering. I don't really get it, but when Miss Sonia talks like that, my blood starts to boil. Alright, getting pumped up! Let's charge our way to the new island! Future Foundation, Monokuma, Monomi, I'll crush them all at once! Even me? <laughs> you guys seem really reliable. Hey, don't talk like you're not included. You're our friend too, you know? Yeah, like, I don't know, you must have some sort of hacking skills as, as an extension of the ultimate gamer skills, right? <laughs> You're right. And I gotta do my best too. Oh, she sounds more upbeat than usual. As we left the restaurant, the expressions on our faces were clearly different than they were before. They were filled with strong will and determination. Armed with that, we began walking toward the last island. But the clouds in my heart still lingered. I couldn't stop thinking about the reserve department. And that filled me with a strange uncomfortable feeling, like a small bone was lodged in my throat. But I tried not to think about it. I tried to stay focused on moving forward. Ooh, what's that facility in the back? Smile at hope in the name of despair. With the Mono Beast gone, we crossed the fifth bridge and arrived at the final island. I thought before, uh, back when Chapter 4 first started, didn't we want to go back to Second Island to check out the, the ruins? We're not getting a chance to do that at all. Whoa! Enormous buildings towered everywhere, as if the entire island were one gigantic city. It felt very sci-fi, as though the island was a snapshot of the urban metropolis from the near future. I guess it has an ambience befitting of a final island. I'm not sure if they're gonna show it again, but uh, this city... Eh, you can say it looks sci-fi, but it's kind of like low-tech sci-fi. I saw pollution and like smog everywhere, and there were Korean words, which is interesting given that, you know, it's supposed to be Japan. Oh, lots of buildings here, vendors, plushie vac factory. Oh, Jabberwock military base. We can't leave, can we? Cause I mean, can we check out? All right. No ruins, no ruins for us. Oh no, what now, did you die already? Oh, thank god. Okay. Yeah, that is Korean. That is not Japanese, so... Oh, that's Japanese. Hmm. There's Chinese here, too. Got a... Got a patron here. Whoa. What's with you? You're all wired up. Okay. Why is there so much smoky stuff continually? No one's even making any food. <laughs> I was wondering who was lured here by the smell. I expected a cane though, not you. I wasn't lured by the smell or anything. <laughs> Looks like this street is full of food vendors, but as you can see, there's no customers or staff. Only the food is here. Heh, <laughs> good enough for me. Normally, a street like this would be bustling with activity, but there's no one here. It kind of baffles me that they're still expecting to find people on the island. <laughs> it's actually pretty creepy to think about. I mean, there wasn't anybody at the hospital or on the previous islands or whatever, and they're still thinking about people not being here. Give it up! Maybe if you ask nicely, they'll spawn some NPCs for you. Ooh. Hi, Chiaki. White smoke is billowing from the building in the back. Is this some kind of factory? But if it's got Monokuma's face on it, 
I'm sure it's a shady factory anyway. Hinata-kun! Ah, Hajime! Good timing! What's up, Chiaki? Hora. This building clearly looks suspicious, right? I was thinking it might be good if I thoroughly look around inside, but... Anone? Since it clearly looks suspicious, I thought it would be dangerous to go alone. Then, do you want to go inside together? Mm. Oh, I'm surprised you didn't say okay. Why are you hesitating? Well, do you or do you not? I'm guessing you do, right? Huh, which... what is this? Okay, so there's two different thingies. Hang on. That's a very ambiguous... Huh, she's still unsure. It might be better if I go inside first. What? What? We could have turned this into like a checking out the factory plus date thing, but now I'm going inside by myself. That sucks. <laughs> hey, Hajime. You're the kind of person who waits until the very end to eat their favorite food, aren't you? Hey, stop it. Just because I didn't check out the factory first doesn't mean you can make that assumption about me. By the way, you are completely correct. How could you tell? I like to eat my favorite foods first. So, instead of the warehouse, let's start with the factory. I guess you're right. Can't argue with that. It's like it's that gamer logic, okay? I get it, I get it. Alright, then I'm going inside. It's like when you find a dead end in a game, in a way that is not a dead end, you go to the dead end first to see if there's items there, right? Oh my god. What the heck is this? What was being manufactured, one after the other, and being carried away on a conveyor belt, was... Monokuma. Oh, they even have the palm trees! Why did they even bother making a factory, like, look like this? Because we know... Oh, pixels being manufactured! What do you think about this, Chiaki? She's just blankly staring at the machine. Looks like she's taken aback too. Well, that's obvious, I suppose. Watching simple machines like this reminds me of games. Games? Like this one game where you just put caps on pens, or another game where you try to guess a person's gender. What? Is that even fun? Yeah, what about games where you don't really do anything besides read a bunch of text? Yeah, those are pretty lame too. <laughs> okay. The conveyor belt is endlessly moving through this enormous machine. The coconut tree carried by the conveyor belt is processed and eventually... Made into this stupid thing. Yeah, those those pixels, man. The monokumas are being tossed into this gigantic basket, one after another. They better not be real. I picked one up with my hand. I see, so these are plushies. Isn't monokuma a plushie? Ito. Monokuma plushies? Ah, the real monokuma is sort of like a plushie too. But, unlike him, these are probably actual plushies. Hey! Isn't the resemblance uncanny? They're my life-size plushies! Life-size plushies? I was planning to hit the big time with these. That's why I'm making them like crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna be rich! But, you've made way too many. You're going to be overstocked when it's all said and done. Monokuma's life-size plushie. I don't want it. I kinda do. Mm. Mm, I see. So this place is for manufacturing life-size Monokuma plushies. What kind of messed up place is this? Don't look down on me. Do you really think it's just for life-size plushies? <laughs> There's a lot more Monokuma merch in the goods warehouse next door. What should we do? Honestly, I don't really feel like going. But what if there's some kind of important clue? What are you gonna do? You're right. Then we should go there for just a little while. Hang on, hang on. This one is clickable, right? Yeah! Huh. Getting a lot of coins that I'm not really using at all. 
Okay, well, let's go, Chiaki. You have anything clever to say now? Now that we're finally going to the goods warehouse? Yeah, let's go together! Ooh. Without thinking, I peeked into the piled up stacks of cardboard boxes. There's a Monokuma calendar, a Monokuma sandbag, and even a Monokuma guitar. First, there was the Monokuma archive in the funhouse, now there's a plushie factory and all these goods. How full of himself is he? <laughs> Mascot popularity doesn't last forever. I gotta earn the big bucks while I can. The mascot that isn't popular anymore is like a piece of candy without any sugar. In other words, it has no reason for existing. He's starting to talk even crazier. What are you talking about? He's being a good business bear. That is, that is... It's true. You gotta cash in on it while you're still relevant. Hmm. Oh? It's like I can just tell from the ambience that there are no important clues here. <laughs> well, at least we confirmed that. Yeah, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Look at that light from the... The fan? Peeking in like that, it's so ominous. All this stacked up stuff is a bunch of CDs. I thought these were gonna be video games, but they're just music CDs. The jacket says, Monokuma's collection of songs and ballads. Is he planning to release an album? Character songs are all the rage these days, but I'm not all that interested in derivative works like that. I've never heard of a mascot selling his own character songs. Plus, it looks like he's already produced his 100th song. See? The 100th track is a festive, psychopop, dance rap that he performs with all his might. I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Danganronpa probably has character songs too, so... Kinda... Ironic for them to be making fun of it. This looks like a Monokuma panel. But why so many? Hmm. I was thinking about using these to decorate the stores that sell my merch and make them all look boom! Then they'd stand out, you know? No store would sell your stuff. Hey, I would sell your stuff. Can I have some? Uh, of course not, you're such a fool! That's why I'll open an official Monokuma shop! I'm thinking about opening chains all over the world! Of course! The main attraction will be my life-size Monokuma plushie! I can't believe you thought that far into the future when you made these. Your business is doomed to fail. Hey! A vision! A bus any business person needs a vision for the future. You're never ready! You have no business sense anyway, so just stop it! Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, don't say that! Let's do our best together! We'll be as popular as Pogs were in the 90s! Um, don't you remember how long those stayed popular? Besides, if you're serious about opening a business, you've already committed a major mistake! Too much capital invested already without any profit! <laughs> <laughs> because there's no merch of me! Oh, Monomi, my little sister. Don't you know about the Aesop's fable about the rabbit and the bear? Not a tortoise? A long, long time ago, there were these two old guys. Two old guys living together? The old guys thought rabbits aren't as popular as bears. The end. Uh, did you even need the old guys in that story? So even if I made merge of you, it's pointless. A half pink rabbit is so lame. You don't even have one ounce of good fashion sense. You did this to me! You're the one who has no fashion sense! Yeah, well, you know what? The diaper isn't really... Okay. Oh! It's a dojo reference, huh? I can't 
can't help but feel like I've might have made too many panels. So, whoever wants to decorate the room, please do it as much as you like. Oh, my room looks like a blank slate. Can I have some? Come on, what are you waiting for? Hajime, let's run. You're right. <laughs> you assholes. We ran out of the warehouse, narrowly avoiding Monokuma's plan for inventory disposal. It's like you just got tired. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Well, I guess that's it for our time at the factory. Do we have any conclusions from that? Not really. <sighs> there are never hints in obviously suspicious places. Anyone who looks obviously suspicious isn't the killer. Hmm. That's usually the norm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what did I click on? Okay, good. Alright, what is the next place? Very un industrial district here. Oh my god, a freaking tank. Jabberwock Army. With a strangely... Oh wow, look at that sick design. <laughs> huh, that thing over there. Is that a tank? Is it real? Not just that, there's a lot of other stuff here that looks really dangerous. <laughs> you notice the tank all the way in the back, but not this cool helicopter here? Really? With the, the gun, of course. Oh man. A lot of stuff- oh, hello! Well, looks like we got our three before the murder. Is this a military truck? Unlike the airplane at the first island, this looks like it actually has an engine inside. But I don't even know how to drive. And besides, it's not like I can escape this island by driving off of it. Hey, yeah, why don't you guys try piloting the helicopter? I'm sure Kazuichi can do it. Ooh, nice, uh, nice RPGs in the back. It's a military truck. There's something in the cargo box. Firearms? And there's a ton of them. There's a lot of different weapons, like guns and anti-tank rockets, carelessly stacked in here. Is it really alright to handle these carelessly? Don't touch it then. Don't touch it. This is a tank, right? Is it real? Can it move? Test it out, test it out. Oh, not the camera. This helicopter... Oh! Is this the helicopter Monokuma used to execute Teru Teru? This helicopter... Don't screw with me! Oh my god, Hajime. Ow! Hajime, what happened? It's nothing. I'm just an idiot. I'm fine. I couldn't help punching it, but I just ended up hurting my fist. Damn it, I'm so weak. <sighs> this appears to be a military base. Is that so? Despite the fact that this island is quite small, the military technology here seems rather extensive. Gosh. These might prove useful when the time comes to combat the future foundation. Useful? There's no way we'd be able to operate stuff like tanks and heavy weapons. Huh? Really? Oh, because she wasn't expecting to do it herself. In my country, even a child in grade school can operate a tank, no problemo. <laughs> Never mind. No problemo? A course in modern warfare is a required class in all our grade schools. An obsession with anime and now this? Sonia's country never ceases to baffle me. This one. However, Weapons are only weapons when humans start to use them. If no one uses them, they are nothing more than scrap metal. You're right. Unfortunately, this stuff in the base probably won't be useful to us. No, that is wrong. Huh? Well, I have discovered a puzzling document in the tank operator's seat. 
Jabber Walk Island Development Plan something. Plan. Oh, okay. What is this? this one. I assume it belongs to Monokuma, and it was placed rather ostentatiously. I do not know how much we can trust it. Do you think it could be a useful clue? Look in it! Monokuma probably did leave it. Like you said, it's hard to know how much we can trust it. So, what does it say? Beyond what is written in here, I do not know much. But it does document Jabberwock Island's redevelopment plan at considerable length. What is that plan? To place Jabberwock Island under the Future Foundation's control and prepare it as a central headquarters. A central headquarters for the Future Foundation? I thought Jabberwock Island was a tourist destination. Why would the Future Foundation be interested in it? In actuality, there was something written in here that caught my attention. The travel agency that managed Jabberwock Island went bankrupt, so the island was uninhabited for a long time. Because of that, the island was unaffected by the incident, which allowed them to easily gain a foothold. Wait, hold on. This place was uninhabited for a long time? If that's true, the maintenance here has been way too attentive. The items at the supermarket are always stocked, and the hotel is still really clean. Could that be the Future Foundation's responsibility? But more importantly, what's the incident? What does it mean that the island was unaffected by it? I cannot discern that from this passage alone. Well, it's the, the tragedy, right? Simply reading this will not help me grasp what those words mean. However, there's one more thing that caught my attention. There's more? Do you remember the guidebook to Jabberwock Island in the library? It was written there that... The central island houses a large administrative building. However, we could not find that building anywhere. We even commented on how strange that was, right? But according to this plan, the building that the Future Foundation is planning to use for their headquarters... Could it be that same building? They are planning to rebuild it and use it as the Future Foundation's headquarters, or so it is written. What the heck? It's so inconsistent. How do you rebuild a building that doesn't even exist? Damn it! What the hell is going on? We were so distracted by all of the horrible situations that kept happening, one after the other. We might have overlooked a more pressing issue. And that is the mystery of this island. But what's really going on? This mystery doesn't make any sense. No matter how much I think about it, there's no reason behind it. Hmm. Not sure how much we should be thinking about this because it really is all just virtual reality anyway. But um, one important thing to note is that it sounds like the Future Foundation is not related to the people, the ultimate despairs, behind the tragedy. Because otherwise, why would they need to look for a safe spot? Man, this place is boring. Boring? What are you talking about? There's a tank here. <laughs> Tanks are not boring. Huh? I like strong dudes. Weapons don't excite me at all. A real man fights with his fists! That goes for women, too. You want to battle a little? If you win, you can rest on my boob pillows. No thanks. Boob pillows? Yeah! A kind of past is kind of questionable, too. Again, doesn't seem like someone who has had a stable home life. With her mom having multiple boyfriends and whatever. Oh, what is left? What is left? Or more like, what is right? Ha ha! Ha ha! Ah. Sea King Industries, what the hell? Whoa. Way to skip the lobby. <gasps> is that a Mono Beast? There is a bunch of strange machines lined up in all directions. It feels very sci-fi. Sea King Industries. Huh? Huh? 
They're a company that specializes in manufacturing electronic insulation and other machine parts. They're a mid-sized company with only 100 employees, but they're the biggest corporation on Jabberwock Island. And this place looks like a research facility. For a mid-sized company, this is a pretty nice facility. Uh... I guess so. I only read about them in a pamphlet next to the reception desk. Besides, the size of the company isn't the issue here. This company obviously doesn't make machine parts, so just what the heck are they making here? He's right. It's like they're making something more dangerous. It seems like it might be a good idea to thoroughly investigate this place. Ooh, it's scary. That most definitely looks like a mono beast, though. This machine is making another machine? Yeah, that's how machines are usually made these days. Automation and all. The finished product looks like it's modeled after a four-legged animal. Oy, oy. Hey, doesn't that animal-looking machine remind you of anything? Are you talking about the mono beasts? Is there any chance that those mono beasts were created here? The mono beasts were created here? Hi, hi. Yup, that's what this place is for. No matter how much you insist it's a game, people won't be convinced if a place like this doesn't exist, right? That's why it's just fine. What the hell did he mean by that? He wasn't making any sense at all. <laughs> he was talking to me, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter who's convinced, because I'll never be convinced. I mean, this place is for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such a dangerous robot in a place like this? Does this mean Monokuma took over this place and modified it to do this? Damn it, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Hmm. This auto- what the hell are they making? People? What? Oh my god, well, they're not having a lot of success with it. This automated machine looks like it's making something. Is this a mannequin? It's a humanoid machine. Is that a robot? Hey, I'm suddenly having a really scary thought. What if one of us here is not real? Holy shit. Seriously? How can they make robots? Hey! Just how far did technology advance without me knowing? Do you think Nekomaru was made here? It's a similar humanoid robot. It's possible, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why would a company that manufactures machine parts have access to this kind of technology? I don't know. Maybe this place is somehow connected to the Future Foundation, too. Cause, uh, yeah, sure, you can say that Nekomaru was made here, but that machine- that machine specifically! They were putting on skin, like human-looking skin and stuff. Oh, is there more? Oh, hey, wait. Wow, four already. Okay. What else is here? There's not much here, is there? Okay. <laughs> Does he just enjoy appearing on screen? I like to think Monokuma has a little bit of a has a little bit of a celebrity kind of attitude. Likes attention. Hey, what else is around here? <laughs> hey, Kazuichi, get a hold of yourself. Huh? Why? Why? Because you're just starting laughing. Started laughing all of a sudden. <laughs> well, obviously. What else am I gonna do except laugh? I mean, it's just so childish. What are you talking about? Well, there's a computer over there, so I started snooping around to see if I could find any clues. Whoever was using this computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. <laughs> he was probably trying to write a manga or something. He sent one of his story ideas to his buddy. It was such a horrible delusional story. I was so embarrassed to read it that it gave me goosebumps. Okay, they've spelt embarrassed wrong at least three times so far, and it's kind of irking me a little bit. 
Delusional story? So, what was written in the email anyway? Well, I'll start with the idea for the story. Apparently, global riots are occurring in various regions around the world. And these riots were caused by high school students. I mean, seriously? That's not realistic at all. Uh... Huh. So, these riots just keep growing as people grow more dissatisfied and frustrated with society. Until, eventually, it spreads like an infectious disease all over the world. Hmm. Footage of the riots started getting circulated, and strange incidents started occurring one after another. A hopeless anxiety instantly spreads throughout the world as the end of the world gets closer and closer. End of the world? End of the world? <laughs> I know, right? Sounds like something a lame high school band would think of as a song title. Whoever wrote this needs to come up with better story ideas because this wasn't realistic at all. I mean, students causing a riot on that scale is totally impossible. I'd never believe it for a second. <laughs> but I learned a valuable lesson. I should always delete embarrassing emails right away. Hey, about that, are you sure it's okay to just say it was a made-up story? <laughs> Of course. I mean, unrealistic things might happen in real life from time to time, but... There's no way this is real! It's more impossible than a notebook that kills people just by writing in it! <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure everybody got this reference, Death Note. You're right. It's just a lot of unimaginable things have kept happening to us, so maybe I'm getting a little confused. But the world ending? There's no way something so unbelievable could actually happen. <laughs> well, at any rate, it's clear now, isn't it? What's clear? Uh... This used to be Seeking Industries, but it's not anymore. <laughs> After this island became uninhabited, Monokuma took over this place and modified it without permission. He did all this just to shock us. That's the reason? It's not so weird! This whole time he's been doing similar things to us! But... why? Maybe there's a bunch of crazy rich dudes who are into this stuff. Huh? They're the ones who are making us kill each other! Those bastards get off on watching kids kill each other! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. Now that I said it out loud, that's actually a terrible assumption. I mean, if that's true, then our fates are in the hands of those rich perverted bastards! That sounds like something that would happen in a work of fiction. But the thought of it actually happening in reality is definitely unsettling. Is that it? Yep. Hmm. What's the information to think about here? Ew. Hey, Hajime. I was looking for you. What's up, Yuhiko? Yeah. I was thinking you've probably finished exploring this island by now. You're right. I think I've explored everywhere at least once for now. Uh. Then, do you want to meet up with everyone and discuss things? Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> I figured it'd be annoying if we all went back to the hotel for this. But there's a street nearby lined with food vendors, so I told everyone to meet up there. Yeah, nah. I'm heading over there now. Hurry up and come over. After letting me know, Fuyuhiko left the area. He actually took the time to tell everyone about that, huh? Well, now's not really the time to be impressed by something like that. It'd be bad to make the others wait. I should hurry over to the street with the food stands. Sure. Walk a little bit, grow out our little pets. Hang on. Nope, one poop. That's pretty normal. Is that it? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, looks like everyone's here. What is it? Huh? What about Negito? Whoa, I completely forgot about him. Huh? Who cares? It's not like he's our friend or anything. Tsuga. I couldn't get in touch with him. I don't know where the hell he is or what he's doing. Satito. So, how'd it go? Did you learn anything about the Future Foundation? Not really, like, I feel like I learned stuff, but I also feel like I didn't learn anything. It's not clear which information we found is believable, if any. 
However, I believe there's no question that the Future Foundation is behind everything that has been going on. Ah, uh, I uh, don't think so. Yeah. Are we sure about that? Huh? <laughs> what are you saying? If they're not our enemy, then what are they? If they're our ally, there's no way they trap us on this island. Uh, if you think about it though, if Monomi is part of the Future Foundation, the purpose, like they brought us here to try to make us collect hope fragments. So they were trying to create hope. So not to convince that they are bad. Ma. That's true, but there's something I've been thinking about. Anona. Monomi works for the Future Foundation, right? She's pretty much admitted it by this point. But even though Monokuma is forcing us to kill each other, Monomi has been opposing him. Huh? You mean pretending to oppose him, right? <laughs> no, I don't think she's pretending. They clearly hate each other. <laughs> then it's possible that the enemy of our enemy is actually an ally. Because she opposes Monokuma, you think she's our ally? <laughs> Even if they both oppose one another, is it not possible that they're both our enemy? <laughs> like a three-way battle. That's kind of hot. <laughs> Why, after all this time, are you suddenly backing up the Future Foundation? <laughs> are you talking like that because you're actually the traitor that's working for them? <laughs> Don't be a fucking idiot. <laughs> no way! You're clearly suspicious! I mean, if you don't... <laughs> Kazuichi Soda! Shut up! There was never a traitor! Monokuma lied to us! Lied? It is simply a false entity that Monokuma made up so we would be suspicious of each other! How can you not believe in your friends after everything we have endured together? <sighs> oh, The main character shows up. Weak. How weak? Ah. <sighs> Instead of facing the problem directly and overcoming it, you're desperately trying to run away. <laughs> that weakness is hopeless. Negito? Well, hi. No, no. Negito, what's he planning this time? Very suspicious! <laughs> what Negito just said... Is he implying that believing in each other is a weakness? That is absurd! <laughs> Negito's a pain in the ass, but is there anything we can do about Kazuichi's idiocy? He doubts everyone so easily and never apologizes for it. Well, I guess I'm used to it. It's Kazuichi, whatever. <laughs> the timing of his arrival seems planned. It seems like he might have been watching our actions. Maybe. Hmm. Damn, Chiaki. Chiaki and Nagito are probably the most observant people here. So there you are, Nagito. We didn't invite you here, you annoying bastard. Nagito, where have you been this whole time? I wonder where your thought process wandered off to. As usual, you guys just keep running in circles. What are you, hamsters? <laughs> Oops, if I compare you guys to hamsters, will I get yelled at by that weakling who dropped out? Sonna. What is that? Sateto. You asked where I've been this whole time, right? That is such a weird way. Oh, Japanese. Anone. Well, I was in the middle of looking for someone. Looking for someone? <sighs> I thought that person might have already arrived, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Or maybe, that person is hiding in a secret location and carefully watching us? Hey, who are you talking about? Are you saying there's someone else on this island besides us? <laughs> it's probably the survivor of the killing school life. <laughs> if so, a lot of things might start adding up, don't you think? O are you talking about Byakuya? He's the survivor you're talking about, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. You guys have only reached that stage. <laughs> what stage? You're not making sense at all! <laughs> not making sense! <laughs> but still, if you think about it properly, you might be able to figure it out. 
Why would Byakuya, a survivor of the killing school life, die in vain like he did in the very beginning? Don't you think it's strange? What does that mean? The issue is not with what he means! Please take back what you said about Byakuya dying in vain! Yeah! Listen to Misania! You have been acting very strange lately! I do not like this version of Nagito we have been witness to! I don't like ya either. Well, I never liked ya in the first place. Aww, looks like I'm being hated. Well, that's understandable. There's no way you guys can even comprehend my suffering. Knowing the truth can be pretty painful in its own way. The truth? What truth? What do you know? <laughs> Curious, are you? But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? Huh? <laughs> to tell you the truth, I still haven't figured out who the traitor is. <laughs> but it won't take me very long. You guys don't have to worry. <laughs> I'll weed out the traitor, even if it costs me my life. <laughs> You're gonna weed out the traitor? As I have already said, there is no traitor! <laughs> I'll bet in the end, you're just actually gonna raise your hand and go, I'm actually the traitor, right? <laughs> you're a funny guy, Kazuichi. But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? If I'm able to wipe out all the despair on this island, will I? <laughs> will I become the ultimate hope? Ultimate hope? What the hell are you talking about? Have you finally lost your damn mind? Now then, I should get going. But if you see Monokuma again, there's something I want you to tell him. Tell him. He doesn't need to provide a motive anymore. Huh? <laughs> tell him not to worry, because I'm planning to go all out. Besides, the next one will probably be the last. <laughs> Negito, what does that mean? <laughs> Bye. Nagito ignored Chiaki's question and left us. We were powerless to stop him. It was clear to us that trying to stop him would just be useless. Oi, oi. I don't want to think about it, but... Could he be planning a kill? A kill? Who? Who's he gonna kill? The traitor. Hmm. Well, we kind of... I think it's okay to say that... Future Foundation is not bad, right? So the traitor, who works for the Future Foundation, they probably have our best interest in mind, so... No, I do not want Nagito killing that person. Because the only act of betrayal they did was not tell us who they are. I don't think they're actually wanting something bad for us. Based on how he was talking, it looks like his target is the traitor. There's no such person! I mean, the notion that one of us has been deceiving us all along. I will never, ever believe that. Like Sonia said, I can't believe it either. I don't think any of us could do that. But what if it's Nagito? No way. Or... What if whoever it is has forgotten about it? What if the traitor has forgotten that they're the traitor? Just like how I forgot that I don't have a talent. Uh. Well, regardless of who he's targeting, there's a high chance that he's planning to kill, right? So then we gotta tie him up again! Forcing him to stop is the only way! <sighs> it's impossible. Nekomaru's not even here anymore. Akane! <laughs> I've got what it takes to deal with someone as weak as him. I'm here too! Huh? Then that's a yes, right? Yes. Just leave it to me. Once I come up with a plan, we'll meet up again. Tie up Negito, huh? <laughs> At first, everyone's like, What are you doing? He's still our friend! Now no one's opposing it. <laughs> Kazuichi's right. It's dangerous to let Negito wander freely. If we're being cautious, we have to act fast. But what is this indescribable anxiousness I'm feeling? I hope it just means I'm thinking too much. For the time being, we decided to finish our exploration of the final island and return to the hotel. 
It was already dark by the time we returned to the hotel. Hmm. So like three days left now. Well, a little bit of a little bit of the fourth day left, but three days left until the countdown timer is done. It's still doing its thing. Okay, can we check out some of the rooms? Nekomaru, you were a strong man. You were always straightforward because you were strong. But strength doesn't mean anything when you're dead. Hmm. I can stop you from dying though. Gundam, I won't forget your final message. Don't give up on life. Even now, those words are still etched into my heart. I don't know if I'll find any answers, but... We will continue to press forward, so you won't lecture us. Hmm. What are you really thinking, Nagito? What are you planning to do? Hey, I wonder if the alive people still got something. Hang on. Oh, Yakuya. Okay. Mine. Kazuchi. I don't believe we looked at Mikans either. It's not opening. It looks like it's locked. What? What? That's a little bit different from what I expected. I thought we were gonna get a nice message or something. What the hell? Because Pekos has a message, right? Oh! Whoa, hang on. Did they just get lazy or how come some sometimes, uh... What the heck? Huh. So it seems like, I don't know, for some reason we can't look at them anymore, except for some of the guys. Maybe it doesn't work unless if it's like the previous chapter that they died. Hmm. No one's sleeping. I believe that there is no traitor. No, that is not the issue. After all, it is impossible. Why does Nagito not understand that? And furthermore, he even made an insulting remark about Gundam. <laughs> Gundam gave his life so he could teach us something important. Sonia. Ano? At the time, Gundam scolded me for attempting to stop his execution. But looking back on it, he would forgive me with a smile on his face, right? Yeah, definitely. Watakushiwa? Gundam stayed true to himself until the very end. I will never forget that. Hmm. What about Nekomaru though? It's like you forgot the part about how he killed Nekomaru. <laughs> I'll do Nekomaru's share of the grunt work. I'm pretty confident about my strength. As long as nobody grabs my tail, there won't be any problems. You have a tail? Obviously, I'm joking. Obviously. Hey. Don't be thinking stuff like, if you want to see a tail, I got one. If you grab it, <laughs> it'll get even more powerful. <laughs> That's a terrible joke. It's even worse than a joke an old man would make. Yeah, I have no doubt that something has been lost in translation there, because that made no sense. Jeez, even her ignorance has a limit. What are you talking about this time? Huh? It's Sonia. She had the nerve to say she wanted to check out my body. Huh? Your body? Don't be thinking about weird things, you bastard! It wasn't like that. I don't know where she heard it from, but... She came up to me and said, Really, Akuza are supposed to have tattoos, so show them to me. Oh, so that's what it was. So do you have any? Can I see? It's not funny for her to tell me to strip right in front of her. Who does she think she is? A princess? Besides, tattoos aren't supposed to be gawked at. Okay, well, so you don't have one that's visible. Maybe like on your back or something cool like that. Sweet. Hmm. Huh. 
Oh, Kazuichi is just in his room, huh? Where's Chiaki? Oh, in the lobby. Sad, late night, lonely gaming. Oh, she's all the way in the back. Mm, the plan to capture Nagito, huh? Akane looked pretty confident, but is she really going to be alright? I mean, she's strong, but Nagito is, you know, unpredictable. You're right, but I don't know how else we're supposed to catch him. <sighs> I don't even know if this is the right thing to do. If Nekomaru was still here, would he let Akane go through with this? Huh, actually, he'd probably get pumped up about our capturing plan along with her. You know, he did capture him once before. Hmm. And Kazuichi helped him that time too. It feels like Gundam and Nekomaru are scolding us for not growing at all. Maybe. Uh, it's not like we're capturing some random person, right? We're capturing the person who has shown themselves to be very, very dangerous. So... Should we go to the restaurant? We could. Ah, oh, so many people died already. There are photos of the 16 of us, but we can't return to those days anymore. Once again, I'm confronted by the fact that... This is bizarre. It's just too bizarre. Hey, anyone? Anyone remember the cow? It's like Hajima completely forgot about that cow. The chicken that turned into a cow. I wonder if we can talk to Kazuichi, but he seems like he doesn't want to come out. Okay, sure. I don't think we can go out, but gotta try. We should start traveling around in pairs or something, so that Nagito can't get the one up on us. For some reason, I'm really tired today. Hey, I'm missing one Monokuma for chapter 4! Oh crap, it might be when I reloaded the save to go to the archive. Oh well. Well, since I walked around all day today, I was able to obtain several clues. Although I'm not really certain if you can call them clues. Instead, I feel like we're just suffering from more mysteries that don't make sense. This isn't good. As soon as nighttime hits, I can't stop thinking about these pessimistic thoughts. This might be a bad habit of mine. Mm, the low confidence thing. I should just get some sleep for now, rest my mind for a while. And then, I'll give this some more thought tomorrow.